Okay. Okay, uh, today um, making a video here about how I shoot uh, flower macros or something like macros at the uh, garden at the state fair or really at any location. Um, we're in the garden in front of the house here and it's a little, it's uh, around seven o'clock and the sun has gone down. I could have shot this during the day, but it's gonna be easier for you to see some of the screenshots uh, when it, there's no sun out. Um, so first thing that we'll do is um, <clears throat> just look to see what kind of an exposure uh, you would have to make to capture this with the ambient light. So this is the kind of shade that uh, when uh, we'll be at the fairgrounds um, at the ag building in the morning, this is about the kind of light that, that we're gonna have. And so I thought I would tell you that I got the camera set uh, to a picture control and I'm shooting RAW plus JPEG. And we can, make, we can talk about that um, in the comments. Uh, uh, I'm doing it because, well, I'm, I'm trying to capture as perfectly as I can in camera and I'll use the JPEG and the RAW is there as more of a backstop or if I decide to do something completely different. So I'm shooting a Portra NC uh, picture control on my camera. I've got it in manual mode and um, at, at F10 and so at one two hundredth of a second I'm shooting a 60 millimeter macro lens and so I'll adjust the ISO to see where we have to be to get a proper exposure and I while I have my strobe hooked up I'm turning it off so that we don't have light so let's see where do I need to be to um, to get the exposure and to get proper exposure and I'm I'm fairly far away here um, just to fill the frame I have to be at an ISO of one of 5,000 to get proper exposure okay and <clears throat> what I'll do is I'm not going to have Marjorie look at the camera here what I'll do is I'll I'll post these pictures as part of uh, the post that I make but uh, so I need an and an ISO of 5,000 uh, at 1 200th of a second at F10. Obviously, if you were using a tripod, okay, you could go to much lower ISO, you'd have a longer exposure. And again, I'll remind you that working in the garden at the fair uh, and, and in the egg building, you, using a tripod just isn't gonna be a viable solution because there's just too many people. You don't wanna block aisles and you don't want anybody to knock your gear over. Plus, <clears throat> I think I told you once before that one thing about a tripod is it works as kind of an anchor that once you get set in the spot, you, you, you don't wanna move it because it takes so much work to set it up. When I'm shooting like this, I can bounce around all over the place and shoot whatever I see, move the camera in and out, recompose in just a couple seconds and I can take the photo. So. So now what we'll do is we'll use the strobe. And so I'm gonna reduce my ISO. I'm gonna set it to 64, which is as low as my camera goes, or which is the native ISO, I should say. And so I'm gonna shoot at, at, at 1 200th of a second, at still, at still at F10, at an ISO of 64. And so this is how I'll shoot. This is a longer cord and it gets in the way, so one of the inconveniences is having to wrap it around your hand, but I'd rather have it than the shorter cord. So <clears throat> I'm using a grid on the MagMod to focus the light so that it's only on the flower and not on any of the background. So I'm gonna come up like this. I'm gonna bring the strobe fairly close to my, uh, fairly close to the subject. You'll notice the strobe is closer to the subject than the camera is, that's very important because what will happen, and I got a really interesting exposure. In fact, why don't you look, this is the exposure that I got, okay? This is the exposure, this is, that's what it looks like, okay? And so, <clears throat> uh, uh, the background is dark and the flower 
is lit on one side because that's where I position the light. It's a very dramatic uh, kind of an image. Now, the interesting thing is, is that you have to remember that uh, shutter speed controls ambient light, aperture controls your strobe. I don't mean that literally. What that means is because the strobe is so fast compared to the shutter speed, compared to any shutter speed on the camera, the strobe emits all of its light in less time than the fastest shutter speed. I can reduce the shutter speed of my camera as far down as I want. And the only light that will be added won't be coming from the strobe. The only light that will be added will be coming from ambient light. So even though the background is dark here and the flower is lit on one side, I can add a little bit of ambient light into this image by reducing my exposure. So instead of 200th of a second, I'm gonna go to 120th of a second, okay? And I'm gonna hand hold it. Even it's, though it's at 120th of a second, the strobe is so fast that it's that you're never going to detect any motion with the camera because the major part of the light is coming from the strobe which is about one ten thousandth of a second okay and so i'm going to come up close here and you'll see i have the strobe in about the same spot with my camera and i'm going to take the picture and you can now see that that um yes i did light up the camera with the, or the the flower with the strobe, but the background has a little bit of light from ambient. So that's how you control ambient light and strobe light to, to, together to get the light where you want it to make the image that you want. You can stop.